It's been one month since the first emergency calls came in to the new Metro Communications Dispatch Center that's located on the public safety campus here in Sioux Falls. Yeah, the new headquarters is a spacious, high-tech replacement of the old 911 center located downtown. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Perry Groton has your first look inside the new facility and how it will meet the needs of the community for decades to come. Bathed in blue light, Metro Communications' new dispatch center is an otherworldly look into the future of public safety in Sioux Falls. You walk in there and you feel like you're on the Star Trek Enterprise. I mean, it is, it's technology, it's blue lights, it's kind of low, people are quiet doing their thing. I mean, it feels like you're on a spaceship. At the controls of this spaceship are the dispatchers positioned at their consoles, answering calls for help from people facing emergencies. When people have a public safety need, in this region uh, that uh, their calls will be answered timely, they'll be answered quickly, and uh, we'll have the right people in place to do it. Metro Communications' new facility replaces their old cramped quarters downtown that some workers described as a dungeon. On our first day here, we already had double the capacity that we had at our old facility, and we have the ability with our current operations to go to triple that over time. The first call came in on January 24th. Everyone held their collective breath to see if the switchover from the old to the new facility would be seamless. It was. The transition went so smoothly that it was almost anticlimactic. We uh, had to make sure that when we cut over, that once calls stopped getting answered at the old place and they started getting answered at the new place, it was literally right on top of each other. But a change in venue isn't all that's new for Metro Communications. It's now been folded into the management umbrella of the city of Sioux Falls. So it will have more city resources available for its operations than when it was run independently. So they have city legal resources, city accounting resources, HR, leadership development, all those things to make them successful. 911 centers across the country are facing serious staffing shortages. But Metro Communications believes all the amenities that come with this new facility will attract more applicants ready to serve as dispatchers. Here, we're excited to bring our uh, cadets and our recruits through here because this is one of our greatest selling points. This is a work environment that is second to none. I mean, we are very fortunate. It is a living, breathing, tangible example of the investment in public safety in our area. One of the perks of working here at the new dispatch center is that you don't have to sit at your workstation all day long. Here, there's a treadmill where you can keep a step ahead of the stresses of your job. Uh, it's high stress work, uh, and so we've got to make sure that they have the right environment to carry that out, the right technology to do their job, and the right environment that if they need a break, uh, from the stress of a call, they have a place they can leave, they can go to a break room, they can walk around the campus. Ten Haken says the dispatch center has been a need in the community for decades. Calls for service will only increase as the city's population keeps growing. And this new addition to the public safety campus, lit up in brilliant blue, will shine a light on emergency services for years to come. It's really high tech, it's really inviting, it's just a place where our people can grow and continue to serve. With Ian Kelloland, I'm Perry Groton. The extra space of the new center means dispatchers are much more spread out, so they're not talking over one another during those emergency calls. The director expects his department will be fully staffed with dispatchers by the end of this year.